Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here and welcome to another vlog There's gonna be a lot of different things happening in this vlog I'm actually really excited my bridal showers this weekend So I'm gonna be vlogging that today I'm just gonna take you guys through a work day now every work day for me looks very different Especially because I have another job that I go to sometimes But whenever I'm doing just mainly content days It can either look like this which hasn't been looking like this if we're being completely honest lately because most of the time I just stay at home and I'm like on my editing grind and stuff like that But I've been kind of feeling a little slumpy with editing editing lately and I find that going to a coffee shop really helps motivate me to do it. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop, edit my video, read, respond to emails, all of that kind of stuff. Before that I have a few returns to make. We have Honey Love, Lulu's, and Birdie Gray. A few different things that I got for my wedding that just didn't fit right and just didn't work for me. So we have to go to the USPS store and the UPS store before we go to that. I think I'm just gonna go to Barnes to chill. I just feel so comfortable at the cafe in Barnes & Noble. I normally don't get anything actually. Maybe I'll get like a snack or something. But I've been really good about not buying books lately, especially with the wedding coming up because it's just so so expensive to have a wedding um so i've been trying to hold off on that a little bit lately i'll probably buy some books here soon just because there's some books i am just so excited about and want to read so bad i'll have my little lunch i have been loving like these balance breaks i'll put it right here they're just so yummy and like the perfect little lunch sometimes i have like carrots or like another little snack with them like a protein bar or something because it doesn't really quite fill me up as much some days just depending on like what i have for breakfast that day and stuff and i also add some pepperoni to it because it only comes with like crackers and cheese but they're like my perfect on the go little lunch type snacky thing. I'm also wearing this cute little headband that I crocheted a while ago. I figured out that if I put a clip in the back to like clip it and be like secure and stuff, it's not as big because I made it too big for my head. So I'm really excited about that and I feel like it goes really cute with my little shirt because there are like pops of purple in it. We're also stuffing wedding invitations tonight, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm going to be going over to my parents to do that later. I think I have to wrap Brooke's birthday gifts. You guys will also see Brooke in this vlog because she's going to be home. I'm so, so excited. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just really, really excited for this vlog and I feel like it's going to be a good week so let's go ahead and get going on these returns so i can actually start getting to work besties you will literally never believe what i just found in barnes and noble it's supposed to come out because it's a new release okay it's supposed to come out august 27th and i checked whenever i got in there whenever i saw it, i was like huh because i feel like my barnes never does early releases like i saw a ton of people getting reckless early and there's like a few other books that i've seen people talking about getting early and stuff like that too because sometimes bookstores just put them out early for some odd reason I, I don't really know but i'm really really happy about it i found daydream by hannah grace which is in the maple hill series like the icebreaker series and again it was supposed to come out august 27th it's august 14th i'm screaming crying throwing up i have heard such amazing things about this and not me literally matching it Tommy literally matching it, not knowing I was gonna go and get it. So I had to get it. Was it $20? Yes. I'm justifying it because I want to read it immediately and now I'm so, so excited about it. So I have no, I never have this kind of luck. Like I am literally so excited to read this book. You guys have no idea. I also just had the sweetest interaction with the cashier in Barnes and Noble. They were just so, so sweet. And they actually told me like about a book that they were writing that's getting published. Like I think in a few weeks or something like that. I don't know. I put it on my one to read on Goodreads. So I'm going to have to look into it a little bit more, but I thought that was just so, so awesome. And it just reminds me like people are writing books. Like how cool is that? If you guys ever write a book or anything like that, like I would love to read it. Please comment down below if you have a book out there because I'm always itching to find new authors and just read you know something a little bit different something by somebody that I've never read before or never read anything like it so definitely let me know and if you have wrote a book just period congratulations because that is literally one of the biggest accomplishments ever and you're so cool like I don't think I could ever do that you're so cool props to you okay it is now time to go home I had a really really good work day in there and I just cannot stop thinking about reading daydream but Hannah Grace I have to finish a book really quick but I'm gonna be done with it but tonight and I'm probably gonna zoom through it oh my gosh and I can film it in a video that I'm filming right now I'm literally so excited I can't stop thinking about it okay let's go home really quick and then we have to go straight to my parents house because we're going to do the invitation stuff and I, I am so so excited <laughs>
last night as you guys saw we ended up filling all of the invitations and stuff like that it was honestly a lot longer of a process than i thought it was gonna be just because we were trying to play with like technology and stuff like that and we ended up making labels for everybody instead of writing them out like we did for the save the dates which was a lot of work to be completely honest and the computer and excel just they were they were beefing at the moment. But we finally got it done. It's all good. We ended up just chilling for the rest of the night. And today is actually Brooke's birthday. If you don't know who Brooke is, she's been in the vlogs quite a few times, but she does live in New York. So I don't get to see her as often as I would wish to. She is one of my best friends. And today is her birthday and she's home because my bridal shower is tomorrow. And she's actually home for like a week and a half. So we get to spend a bunch of time together and stuff, which I'm really, really excited about. And since it is her birthday, I don't know how much I'm going to film today. I know we're going to be doing a few things that she wants to do and I don't want to like make her birthday about me or anything like that you know what I'm saying but I am going to go ahead and wrap her gifts so I figured I'd show you what I got her and then we can wrap it together the first thing that I got her was this cute little mug from home goods they wrapped it up all nice for me which was super super sweet but it's just this little snoopy mug she like absolutely adores snoopy so I know she's really gonna like this and it's ginormous who doesn't love a ginormous mug and then I did end up getting her a book I'm trying to get her into her fantasy era so of course I got her powerless because this is one of the books that i always recommend to people as a first fantasy book and i feel like she's gonna really enjoy this eventually whenever she gets into fantasy she's a reader but sometimes she has trouble like staying invested in books and staying like interested in books but i feel like this one's super fast paced so i feel like she's really gonna enjoy this <laughs> and then i got her this cute little headband i actually have a green one so i thought it'd be kind of funny but it's just like a headband for like doing your makeup or doing your skincare or whatever and it has these little like i don't even know what you would call them it kind of looks like a monster I, I don't really know, but I think it's really, really funny and fun. I got these off of Amazon. I will link them on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in them, but I just think they're so funny and cute. So I had to get her one of those. And then I also got her a little jelly cat. I'm kind of saying that this is like us, like it's almost like two peas in a pod, but they're marshmallows. So don't pay too much attention to that. But they're just so cute. There's a pink one and a white one and I love them and they're just so little and cute. I feel like this would just be fun for her to put like literally anywhere in her apartment. I'm so excited to give her one of these. I don't think she has any jelly cats either. So I'm like double excited to give her a jelly cat because they're just so stinking cute. Okay. And then of course, for any type of gift, I love giving my friends a type of snack or their favorite beverage or whatever. Brooke loves a good bubbler this is the triple berry breezer flavor so i got her some of these and then cheddar and sour cream ruffles of course they are so so delicious and i feel like we both have like a connection over these so it makes sense for me to get her these and then i got her some reese's mini cups too gotta have a little bit of salt gotta have a little bit of sweet and then you gotta have something to wash it down you know and then i also have this cute little birthday crown that we can put on her if she wants to i thought it would be kind of fun oh and then i also got her this cutie little pink cupcake it's kind of like frosted on the plastic because it's been in the fridge since i bought it yesterday but i got her this and then we can put a candle on it and then we can sing her happy birthday i'm saying we that's gonna be me and luke if he's home but i'll sing her happy birthday and yeah i just thought it would be fun i am so lucky to have a friend like brooke and i feel like she is just one of the sweet Sweetest, most kind, funniest, supportive, loyal friends. And I am, again, just so lucky to have her in my life. So let's go ahead and wrap these up. I have zero idea how I'm doing this. I did buy some bags on Amazon recently, just in like a bigger pack, because I know I'm gonna want them for gifts for things in the future anyway. So I figured I'd just buy some in bulk and they just have these cute little flowers on them. So I think I'm gonna put some stuff in here. But I don't think everything's gonna fit in one or two of these bags because it is like kind of smaller. So I might actually wrap some stuff in just some craft paper that I have. We'll go ahead and wait and see. Okay, here are the gifts. I feel like they look so, so cute. And we actually found some extra bags. So that's where that like big one and the small one came from. And I'm really happy about it, to be honest. Because wrapping presents is just, it's just a lot of work. Let's be completely honest.
disappearing behind me. That's crazy. Okay, Brooke and I had a fun little girls day out, which was really fun. We just caught up, chatted, and shopped quite a bit at our mall. Now, our mall doesn't really have the most stores, but we do have like one third amount of good stores. And honestly, like, I shopped at Forever 21. Never shopped at Forever 21, but I found some good things. So you never know whenever you're gonna find a little diamond in the rough. First thing was, I got something at Bath & Body Works. I got six little hand sanitizers because they were doing like a deal, six for 10, and I needed some for like all the different bags I carry and stuff like that. I feel like if I don't put it in that specific bag, it's never getting transferred over. Like, the, I just, I'm terrible at transferring things. So I'm just gonna put one in each different bag I use. and. That'll be the end of that. From Forever 21, they had a few white tops that I thought were really, really cute. I do not remember the last time I even set foot in a Forever 21, let alone bought something from there. Like, I literally used to shop there all the time whenever I was younger. But I saw they had a ton of white stuff, and obviously, I'm in my bridal era, and I have no idea what's going on for my bachelorette party, and I just wanted to make sure that I had, like, enough white clothes, I guess. And just in general, I know I'm gonna wear these again, and they were both only $13, so there's this cute little white cropped, like, lacy top, and it's like a scoop neck, so I thought this one was really, really cute. And then this one is actually a lot like two shirts that I have from Sun. You guys have probably seen me wear them maybe in a video or something. But they have like a little ruching right here and it just fits me really, really nicely. And surprisingly, these weren't see-through and I have been having so much trouble finding any white clothing at all. I feel like I've talked about it on the vlogs quite a bit. So was very happy with those. And then they also had a deal on their shorts. And I never thought that I'd go to Forever 21 for shorts. Like honestly, I don't really have a lot of jean shorts that fit me the way that I want them to. But they were having a $10 jean short sale. And I was like, okay, might as well just try them on. Why not? $10 go crazy. Trying to save money right now. So I got these and they literally fit me so good. I'm really excited. Honestly, might wear these tonight because I think Brooke and I are going to go out for her birthday. I think it might just be us two and I think we might just go out and have a little drink and have some fun. She's actually about to come over and she's going to sleep over tonight. So I'm really, really excited to hang out with her. Obviously, I haven't seen her in a really long time. So I'm really, really, really excited to have like a little sleep overnight and a little girls night. It's going to be really, really fun. Okay. And then we also went to dry goods and their sale section is so, so good. If you've never been to a dry goods, highly recommend just going for the sales section. That's where I find so much stuff. If not all the stuff that I have from dry goods is from the sales section. So I figured this dress would be perfect for our honeymoon. I usually don't wear a lot of stuff like this because I feel like I never have like the right bra to wear with it. Bras are just <laughs> like you have to find the right bra obviously and I feel like depending on what you're wearing it's so hard to find like the right bra for things but this is a kind of like a backless dress and there's also a tie I think you guys saw me try this on in the little montage that I took while we were kind of shopping and stuff but it's just this cute little floral pattern it's really long and lengthy you'll never guess how much $13 $13 okay literally stealing literally stealing so i was really really happy about this purchase it is so so cute and i'm so excited and then i actually bought some new earrings now i'll be honest like i don't really buy a lot of jewelry anymore because i just wear the same jewelry every day but these hoop earrings are rusting i feel like i've said that in a video before but i don't know if these are gonna replace my hoop earrings if i'm gonna wear these all the time but i thought they were really really cute and i would wear them quite often so i saw these little heart pendant huggies I just feel like they're so, so cute and like they're very my style. I love gold. I had like a buy two, get one free deal, but I feel like if I bought three of them, I wouldn't wear all of them. So I felt like it was just kind of like a waste for me and I am trying to save a little bit of money right now. So that is all I got. I'm really happy with all of my purchases. I feel like I got quite a bit without spending too much, which, you know, is my goal as of late. So I'm doing pretty great. Even though I just said I'm trying to save money too, I'm literally about to show you a whole beauty haul that I bought for my wedding makeup. Cause if you don't know, I'm doing my own wedding makeup. Work is also coming over so we can get ready together tonight for going out, which is gonna be fun. I feel like a lot of the times getting ready to go out is more fun than going out itself. I feel like a lot of people say that, but it's genuinely like just true at this point. Here's my new makeup that I'm gonna show you guys. I figured we could do a quick little haul and then since I'm gonna be wearing makeup tomorrow for my bridal shower too, I wanted to test it out tonight just to kind of see what works and what doesn't work and hopefully everything will be fine. I feel like the makeup that I was doing and the makeup that I was proud practicing was doing okay and I did it quite a few times and it looked really good it's just like the longevity of it wasn't really doing well and there were just some things that were old products that uh 
I need to get rid of. So we'll start with Target really quick. I got three of these Neutrogena Hydro Boost face masks. These are so good. They're it, 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 If you're a dry skin girly, you need to use these. These are incredible. The only way my skin is at all okay ever. I just realized this is actually a lot of elf products. Anyways, um, this is the concealer that I always use. I just got a new one because my other one was old and it was kind of getting like patchy and not looking the best. So this is the elf hydrating camel concealer. Highly recommend. Super inexpensive. And then I'm also going to try the contour one wand by elf as well i've heard good things about it it's like the charlotte tilbury dupe i also wanted to try the elf halo glow like charlotte tilbury flawless face filter dupe whatever thing but i ended up not getting it this time because i just want to see what the foundation that i got looks like on its own and then just kind of go from there and maybe i'll get it i don't really know but i got this because my bronzer stick is a little old and i feel like my bronzer has just been wearing off and not looking its greatest so i've been kind of annoyed with that so i got that and i also got a mini elf power grip primer i've heard amazing things about this and i'm really got it payment in a mini size because it saved me a little bit of money and I feel like I don't wear enough makeup all the time to get a full size primer because I'm just not going to use it all. And then I also got the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I also asked you guys for a ton of recs and these were a few of the recs. Definitely this one and then these two for affordability but specifically this one from the drugstore. I got a lot of recs for this foundation and then I already use this foundation which is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear one and I like it. It's just old. So the formula is just not doing its thing so if this one doesn't work i'm gonna go back to using the other one and just buy a new one of that but i figured i don't know i just try something different i don't know and i also got a little elf powder puff because i don't have a powder puff and i feel like it'd be better than using my beauty blender because sometimes you just really can't get in there and then i actually got this off of tiktok shop if we're being completely honest this is one of the lip stains so we're gonna try this tonight and see what i think i got it in pink i've heard and seen really amazing things about these so i'm really in interested to see what happens and if I like it because honestly my lips are like super pale like they're pink obviously but they're very light and I feel like my lip products always rub off and they just don't really last a long time and I feel like this would be really nice for the wedding for longevity purposes as well and then Brooke actually gave me this today it's a mini Urban Decay all nighter setting spray again I just got miniatures of everything else it's for because I mean obviously I didn't get this Brooke got this for me but everything else I'm about to show you are minis because I just don't wear makeup enough to be getting full size because it's just a waste of money for me so shout out to Sephora for having the minis but this one is an ultra mini so so cute so this is gonna be perfect I used to use that a long time ago and it was great but I also got the one size setting spray I've heard amazing things about this and then I got the one size mini powder so I'm really really excited about these this is just a reminder you know if you don't wear that much makeup or you want to try certain products or whatever just get a tiny little size okay just get a tiny little size I feel like most of the time too I'm buying so many products just to like try them out or I used to because I really used to be into makeup whenever I was younger not as much now that I'm older but I'm kind of getting back in that era I'm back in my beauty viewer era hey beauty guru era loading okay let's go ahead and try this out while we're here figuring it out perfect for you oh my gosh this is so dark okay black lipstick kind of a vibe uh i guess i'm just gonna wait until this dries i don't really know how long it takes i don't even know if i did it right but hopefully i did and hopefully it looks okay why is makeup so fun okay low-key the black is kind of a vibe why is that black? catch me being a little witch for halloween with black lipstick okay i guess it's already ready to come off because i can like feel it healing so we're just gonna take it off okay that's definitely some color definitely more than i normally have on this is actually so satisfying ow talk about a lip stain <laughs> mm. and it's like very natural and not anything crazy too which is nice maybe if i left it on even longer it'd be even better but i don't know it's definitely something that i'm going to have to play with a little bit it's kind of a sad song mm. we're skipping here <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Oh my gosh, this is like my exact shade match, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. What do you think about doing for your hair tomorrow or just um, for the wedding? Oh, we'll do both. No. For the wedding, I'm doing half up, half down. I yes. Believe. Love. I don't know about for tomorrow. I'm probably just going to curl it. Yeah. And down, curl it though. Yeah. yeah, down for sure. Oh my god, that blush is pigmented. I did not mean to do that. <gasps> okay. Bestie, I don't know if you... <laughs> Redoing. <laughs> That's crazy. Blush blindness. 28, 24. Hi, Bob. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Oh, 
Sitting like that doing your eyes is so real. <laughs> yeah. It's actually like so comfy. I'm right saying. This is one of the Kylie palettes. Actually, oh my god, really I miss good. Kylie. Yeah, I actually really dig her eyeshadows. I don't know if I've tried anything else from her. I don't even think I tried a lip kit. Really? No, I That's never bought one. Last even though I was a lip girly. Or a, not a lip girly. What like, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a makeup girly back yeah, then? Yeah, I mean. Thank you. Yeah. This is kind of crazy. This is like our first time ever going out, just us two. Mm. God, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is the day of my brow shot. I'm so excited. It starts at 1. It's currently 11. I feel like I am running a little bit behind because my hair is still wet, but I feel like my hair doesn't really take me that long, and I don't feel like my makeup will take me that long either, but I do still want to, like, enjoy the process of doing it. I've got some little under eye... What are these called? Not bags. <laughs> under eye patches, under eye masks on right now, so I'm enjoying those. I also have to do my nails, too, but I'm just doing press-on nails, so I'm not, like, too, too worried about those. Last night was really fun too. Brooke and I had a lot of fun and I think she had a really, really good birthday. And yeah, I guess you're just gonna come along with me as I get ready for my brow shower. So let's go, period. so pretty Okay guys, I am all ready. I was kind of in a rush, but we made it work. I didn't end up doing the nails that Luke got me this morning, but that's okay. My dress is from Birdie Gray. It is literally the most stunning thing ever, and I just feel so confident and good in it and I just love this dress so much. I'm gonna wear it like all the time after to literally like any event or chance that I can get. This purse is from Amazon. I'm wearing my Birkenstocks with the crisscross and then the jewelry is all the same jewelry that I wear all the time besides my new little heart earrings from Dry Goods. And yeah, I think we're gonna go. The lip turned out so much better today. I'm literally obsessed with it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> to wear on your wedding day. This is so cute. Thank you, guys. Yes. Oh, it's so sweet. I love it. It's actually a few days later, but my bridal shower was so, so fun. And I am just so thankful for everybody who came. And it was just such a fun day. And I feel like a lot of the times you don't get to really hang out with a lot of your closest people all together, almost like ever, because there's not a lot of reasons why they would cross paths unless they were hanging out for you. And I feel like it was just so, so fun to see everybody that I love and enjoy as people there all together and hang out with them. And the biggest thing that we really did is we got to paint pottery, which is one of my favorite things. You guys know I love to paint pottery. So I'm really excited for that to come in and be done and to see what everybody else made too. It was just such a fun day. It was so, so fun. Hey. This is the coupon. I don't know if it's like, it just said to like show it. Good job. Coupon. Ready for waffle. <gasps> Oh my god, it's like one of those on. science experiments. Yeah, it's like a volcano. <laughs> Mentos and Coke. Thank, Thank you. you. She wasn't wearing a cold version. Nope, she did not look like she No, I was like. <laughs> I was really weird. I 
thought it was I know, I was like, hey. Okay. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> Great start to the mukbang. Little Culver's mukbang. Let's see what we got. Starting out, spray, root beer. <laughs> I got some lovely cheese curds, of course. Mm. Can't can't go to Culver's without them. No. I believe this is yours. What'd you get? Um, I got a bacon deluxe butter burger. Here are your fries, Gorgeous. miss. Thank you, miss. And then I got some chicken tendies, of course. Ooh. It's so crazy to me that you're not a, like, um, you just eat them raw. Or, hate the way you said that, for sure. Um, Bear. for one. Two, you know what? I don't even know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Sometimes tell. I do that. I could tell. Let's talk about yeah, it ends with us movie. Mm. Okay, I'd love to hear your thoughts first. Mm. To be honest, for me, it was kind of just how like the book was where Atlas just carried the whole story for me. Ryle gave nothing, like ever. Him and Blake's connection. We do stand Justin Baldoni though. Yeah, let's just say that. Period, point blank. They just like didn't have chemistry. Mm -mm. Her and Atlas had chemistry. Every time Blake and Justin were on screen, uh -huh. it felt like they were like talking at each other and like they weren't really like reacting or like yeah. giving anything mm -hmm. i feel like when i looked in justin's eyes though i was like you know he loves her like he yeah looked like he loved her blake i don't know she was just kind of giving me nothing yeah unfortunately um but you could tell she liked atlas yeah 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 yeah. that connection was way stronger so mm -hmm. i think it does make sense like with that too they probably like hated each other on set oh, so yeah. like it was hard for them i mean we don't know these people but True. rumor has it. I don't know though. It was like solid. It was a good movie. I think that. I don't think it was bad. It was just missing uh -huh. a lot of details that would have added depth. Yeah. To the characters. You and know? And like the time jumps were not like obvious, I feel like. No, it just kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. Weirdly enough. I mean, they obviously they didn't do like the Ellen DeGeneres and like the Dory stuff and like. Yeah. Whatever. There, there was they weirdly enough. Her. Yeah. yeah, they did. And they showed a lot of glimpses of like random like Finding Nemo things. They showed Ellen on the screen, you're right. Uh -huh. And then I saw a Nemo Squishmallow. I literally have that yes. Squishmallow. Mm -hmm. oh, that was funny. For her baby. I don't know what I would rate it, to be honest. Like, out of 10, I feel like I'd give it like a 6. Like, I'd be like, yeah, go watch it, sure. But like, is it the best film I've ever seen? No. But it's not a bad film. I kind of agree with you. Right? Because, like, I think it's better than average. Yeah. You know, because I was interested in watching. And I mm -hmm. knew the story. I read the book. You know what I mean? I right. knew the story and I, like, want to keep yeah. watching. And Loki kind of felt a little short for some odd reason to me. I remember you going, like, what? You said something. And I was like, no, literally, it's, like, past the time. Like, it's yeah. almost I thought it was so weird that it was already time. Which it is nice when a movie goes, like, that fast, though, Loki. True. It was very fast paced. Yeah, it wasn't, like, when is this going to end type of vibe. Mm. One thing I did think was really cool is how we saw a lot of the stuff that happened to Lily Yeah through her perspective at first and then whenever she learned like what was going on I guess obviously I don't want to spoil it or anything like that Like we saw the real truth of what mm -hmm. happened. I thought that was really interesting. You pointed that out to me. It was really interesting Except like an incident with um Stairs, I think they could have done a better job portraying it in her Way that she saw things at first whenever we saw it because I feel like Whenever we saw like two different things, it was the same exact thing. Like I didn't see difference, but the first incident, I did see difference. You know what I mean? Because we talked about two, we're like, what? I agree. Mm -hmm. I that agree. was that was actually a really good little touch they had in there. Yeah, I just felt like really jumpy too. Me too. Like super jumpy. Because you never knew like what was gonna happen, and like no, and uh, all of a sudden like we're just in the next phase, and like what the. F yeah. It was very quick, very quick, which mm -hmm. I enjoyed and kept me interested. Mm -hmm. I already knew the story, but like, I don't know, I feel like we're just lacking a lot of depth on the characters. I think the best people in that movie though, oh. hands down, Jenny Slate oh. and Hassan Minaj. Oh yeah, so no, the best. funny. We, so we funny. were cackling of what they were saying. Oh my God, also, the people in the theater were kind of funny too. Like they people were. like all the way in the back. Like there's like a point where like, <laughs> Somebody yelled, they yeah. come out of the bathroom and like Ryle's just like, and someone in the back was like, damn! And I was like, oh my god. So funny. I'm curious if they'll do uh, the second one. 
I haven't read the second one though. I don't know if they will. Mm -hmm. Did you hear the drummy? Drummy? Okay. Drummy? Drummy? Did you hear the drama about this being Blake's cut? Like the final cut that came through? Mm hmm. I wanna see Justin's cut of the movie. Yeah. I wish there was more of adult Atlas and Lily's relationship too. Mm hmm. So I feel like they had a lot more moments in the book, to be completely really honest. Mm hmm. How do you feel about Iron Man, aka Robert Downey Jr.? Oh my god! Dr. Doom. Iconic. Also, could save Marvel. I do. I True. do. I do. Oh, wait. wait Marvel, you haven't I haven't seen, seen, no. I really enjoyed it. It gave me the feelings of, like, old Marvel. Yeah, before, like, Endgame. I feel uh, like the only other movie that's given me that feelings is Spider-Man 3. Mm. Guardians. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I Guardians. Think that came out after Guardians, Guardians 3 was, was so, so sad. It was so sad, but it was so good. We were crying. Balling. I think within, Balling. like, the first 20 minutes, we were sobbing. No, literally, yeah, the whole movie. Because that's... Because it's freaking rocket. I like all the slushes. Like rank, like top three. Top three Lonnie's. Literally the slushes. Just Did you like slushes? order them? Yeah. Sl sl slushes. Slushes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine is cherry slush. Mm-hmm. Cherry twist. Mm-hmm. This last one's hard for you. I want to say pink slush, but mm. I've only had it once. <gasps> I actually have Kimmaid that I still need to try. I have it in my fridge. Target had some the other day, and I thought it's like was gone. Like I thought it was like special edition, but I got it and I'm really excited mm. to try it. But a lot of people like that one a lot. I don't know what my third one would be. I guess maybe pink slush. I didn't really like the peach one. The orange one was good though. Did I blue slush? I've had it once. I feel like I need to try it again. Mm -hmm. I don't remember it being like a favorite. Oh, you're gonna have to rank it. Oh. Um, yeah, he waved. I don't know. Oh, he waved. Was. I don't know this man. I don't know if I told you this, but I get notifications every time somebody like RSVPs to our wedding. Mm-hmm. So like anytime, like you don't, you don't, don't yeah, if you don't know if they like RSVP yes or no. You, it just says like Brooke Carver and guests or whatever have RSVP'd, so you click on it. And oh, you figure out when you it's like woo. It. It's like a mystery, but yeah, it's kind of fun. 21 people are coming to our wedding so far. We should do that thing where we have our eyes closed and then we like <laughs> guess when we clap. So we close our eyes. Yep. Yeah. Can I scare you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I get okay. scared of everything. Are your eyes closed? Yeah. Are we? Like, Wait, were that we was... actually like switched at birth or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Wait, let us know down below. Do you think Brooke and I look alike? We always get We've that we literally do. gotten this so many times. Do you think we look like? We just don't look alike. We are literally just like the same height. But like, what about like eyes up? Do you think we look like eyes up? Because we got this a lot during like COVID. Yeah, during we COVID. Because uh -huh. we work together. So everybody would get us mixed up. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Hello from Edit and Katie. I quickly realized that I did not actually end this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy it. If you watched until this far in the video, go ahead and comment down below any heart emoji so I know who the real ones are who watched till the very end. And if you want to keep up with me on the daily, go ahead and follow all my socials. They will always be linked down below. We have Instagram, TikTok, and Goodreads. Especially follow my Goodreads if you want to see my live updates while I'm reading books. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Enjoyed this video and I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, bring out the big guns. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> We're doing great on the first gift. <laughs> 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 you see, now I'm being broken again. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you were. Okay. Look at the one. <laughs> Look at this one. Wrap <laughs> her back in. Just a water. For longevity precision. Bleh. Cherry Coke. I right, try it. Right. This is giving me on Black Beak. Do the legs. And then we're gonna do invitation side of thing. I'm oh, people pulling up right next to me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> My pleasure. Let's not do that. I'm gonna make it. Thank you. Of I course. can't really oh. hug you, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, I used to watch you sleep. Oh my god, the tripod was shrinking the whole time. Hey!